Do you need more sales leads quickly? Well, what if I told you that in the next 10 minutes, you could set up a lead gen machine to fill your pipeline with potential leads, all using free tools? Well, let's dive in to see how you can do just that. Like any good sales and marketing campaign, you're going to need to have a few things defined first. Number one, what you're selling and why. Number two, who you're selling it to. Number three, what problems your ideal prospects have and how you solve them. And number four, what the next steps or call to action is. Now, when you have your buyer personas, business goals, and that value prop nailed down, let's jump into one of our favorite tools, Apollo, and get to work. To start, you're gonna need to set up a free account. If you don't have one yet, you can actually use the link below. Once you're inside, you're gonna start by finding leads that fit your ideal customer profile. Now's the time you wanna pull out that key information we talked about before that you'll use to narrow down who you want to target. Now, if you're using the free version of Apollo, you do get a limited number of credits. So you definitely wanna get the most out of those credits by nailing down the who as specific and dialed in as possible. Now here in the people area is where you're gonna use those filters to narrow down the who that we're trying to create the lead gen campaign for. Here are three helpful filters to consider. Number one, the persona filter. Now, if you don't have personas built here, you can also set one up using AI. We went ahead and set these up in advance. So we're gonna go ahead and select these three. Now that we've got the persona set up, we're gonna to move to the email status filter, where we've got the opportunity to select folks that are likely to engage and or verified. So we're gonna select both of these. And then we're going to use the location. So we're selling to people who happen to be in the United States. And let's select that and that'll give us a count of 3,900 people that fit our status. Now, one that I'll point out here that you may wanna use if you happen to access the paid is you can actually set up intent topics. So if I wanted to filter by people who are looking for CRM best practices, I could do that as well. Again, might be a little more qualified, but not quite available here on the free plan as we're getting you started. Now, these are just a couple of examples of the filters you can use. If you click on more filters, you can see there's a whole bunch more stuff there. We can filter by sit codes, time and role, industry, so on and so forth. So we're going to go ahead and add our time in current role. We're going to make it so that they have been here for less than two years. Actually zero to two, and there we go. Okay, apply filters. Okay, now that you have your filters set how you want them, we can save the search, so let's do this. One more thing you might wanna do with saved searches is actually create subscription alerts for those saved views, which means that Apollo will actually send you new people or companies that fit that criteria. So now that we've got some criteria, we'll wanna select the number of leads that we wanna to add to a list, and that's what we're gonna use for our first lead gen campaign. So let's go ahead and select people. We're gonna select them 25 at a time. I wanna click on apply, and then we'll add them to a list. If you don't have a list here, you'll need to create a list for the first time. So we're gonna call this again, our new lead gen campaign and we're gonna click on save. All right now I'll select our next 25 and keep going until we've got a good amount to start with. Okay, we've built the filters and we've selected the people we're selling to and saved them as a list. Now let's automate the workflow so you can send tailored outbound messages at scale to your list of qualified contacts. So we're gonna to go to lists here and find the list that we just created. And you'll see that we have 175 records that we set up through that motion we just accomplished. So the next step here is linking your mailbox so you can send messages via your mailbox provider, which might be like Google or Outlook, and actually track, automate, and monitor that email performance and outreach directly in Apollo. So we're gonna click on manage mailboxes back here in settings. And in the mailbox, we're gonna go ahead and link that here. So now it's time to specify the different touch points that you'll have with your leads. So that's gonna be called a sequence. So that might be emails, tasks, or even steps using LinkedIn. So we're gonna step over to the sequences area, which is gonna be here in the menu under the engage and the sequences tab here. And if you're not sure where to start with sequences, that's okay. Apollo actually has you covered here with lots of options. So when I click on create a sequence, you can see we've got AI assisted sequences, pre-formatted, you can clone an existing sequence. So if someone has an account that you're actually added into and Let's say they have a really good working sequence that does a, a killer job at getting results. You could actually clone that or you can create from scratch. So for this example, we're gonna use the pre-formatted option and you can see all the different use cases here on the left and the various templates that are just right out of the box for you. So if you're looking to target, let's say C-suite executives, you have a good starting point right here with this C-suite calling script. So go back to that strategy we talked about in the beginning, the information you have about your potential customers and their pain points will help you decide which sequence that you want to use. So for this example, let's use target high intent prospects. And we're gonna do that here. 
And you can see that we actually have the opportunities to review what that sequence looks like. We're going to create and customize. Now let's go ahead and create your sequence. So here we are with all the steps that came with our sequence. We can actually click in and edit those a little bit more deeply so we can customize. So when I click into edit, you can see that the email and its little building blocks are over here on the left, the contact previews here, and then we can actually go over to customize and regenerate so we can have those pieces filled in automatically. Let's say that I want to change this email a little bit. I might click on this AI assistant here, and then I'm actually going to change the subject line. So I don't like the subject line. So let's do a different one. Regenerate. Okay. Aligning sales and marketing. That sounds good. And I do want to use something that's more generic. Okay. So we're going to replace that content here and then we've got an opportunity. Good. Okay. So we're going to click on save and now we've got one email and two email. We've got some additional steps here, but we're going to go ahead and leave those. We've got some additional steps here to send a LinkedIn request. This is a task. This is a task. We've got a task to send a LinkedIn message. We've got one more email we need to edit. So let's do that quick. And we're also going to change that menu email to an automatic email. So now when you enroll someone into the sequence, it's automatic. So let's do one more quick test. We're going to click on edit and make sure that we send a test email for each one of these. Make sure it all looks okay. And the tokens are taken care of. All right. So we have the first one. Notice that many teams. Okay. looks like we've got an issue here with, we got a first name on there that we don't want. So we just got to take care of that first name token and let's edit here and go through. And that's actually, if I would have looked at this, this is where I would have caught that. So we're going to take that and save and do that again on the others. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and launch this. And when we launch, we're going to go ahead and have it set to activate and we're going to enroll our contacts. All right. So we're going to add contacts from a list and let's go to our list, which is this Legion list. And so let's add 175 contacts. Now, as that gets rolling, let's talk about one last step. And that is as a HubSpot consultant, I like to pair Apollo with HubSpot so that I can push contacts over from Apollo to my CRM once they show interest. That way I'm keeping all my prospecting activity in Apollo and I'm only moving over high intent leads to my CRM when they're ready for more. So you might want to define what more means to your organization, but that might include things like requests for information. Maybe they're interested, but not right now. So to do this, we're going to go to settings and to integrations. So integrations is where you're going to find those CRM integrations. We talked specifically about HubSpot here. So we're going to go ahead and connect that. So to sync Apollo and HubSpot, you've got a couple of things. So we can actually select whatever our fields are here. We're going to actually just stick with the lead status field. We're going to say anybody that replied or is interested needs to be marked as connected inside of our HubSpot lead status stages. So for the actual push of data over to HubSpot, we're going to push the contacts here that are based on certain stages. Those stages are going to be replied or interested. We're going to move them to HubSpot and they're going to be then generated by Apollo. So let's go ahead and click save. And there we go. Now that we've had our campaign running for a bit, let's take a quick peek at how you'll see this in the dashboard. So here we're seeing the sequence that we set up. We're going to click into this and the overview tab gives me a just quick look at the statistics so far in the campaign. We've got 174 scheduled, 15 delivered. And if I click into each one of these sub areas, you'll see that I've actually got the report specific to that task or phone calls. If we just click on report overall, you'll see that we have 15 delivered. This shows us by contact, by email, and then it also shows our engaged audience and details. So congratulations. Congratulations. That's it. You've officially launched a lead gen campaign in less than 10 minutes. To take this a step further, I recommend setting up different types of lead gen campaigns and then refining those campaigns based on results and engagements. If you're pushing qualified leads to HubSpot, again, you may be interested in perhaps running webinars or creating a landing page to nurture those leads. If that's the case, check out these videos for more work on that. And don't forget to sign up for your free Apollo account today using the link below. Happy lead generating.